Oh, hello there. Welcome to our second video of the Fredericton tour series. We are super excited to show you guys around. Are you ready to explore downtown? Because we, we are. are. To our right is the New Brunswick Legislative Assembly, also known as Legislator for short. And here's where the 49 elected representatives meet. And to my left, there's the Beaver Art Gallery, which is one of my favorite places in town. And for a city, small city like Fredericton, it is definitely quite an amazing place. Here you can find amazing pieces like a Salvador Dali and other First Nations arts. Also, the notable Axe Theatre Festival takes place inside the Beaverbrook. And as a student, you can act in there. Last summer, I acted as a student and it was so much fun. And if you want to get transported to another world or immerse yourself into Earth, this is definitely the place to be. And the best part is it is free for students. You could definitely come here to hang out with your friends. All right, Sohan, let's go to the Playhouse. This is Fredericton's main theater, known as the Playhouse. It has outgrown its size and they were about to expand it, but with COVID-19 around, who knows when. If you like the arts, this is the place to go. I once came here to watch the Nutcracker in December and it was magical. That sounds so much fun. And the cool thing about the Playhouse is they have special prices all year round. This is Officer Square, one of Fredericton's main public spaces in downtown. Here is what the garrisons would meet and do their military exercises. But as time went by, it changed and there were even tennis courts here at some point. As you can see, Officer Square is going through a major makeover to make it more accessible to the public and to make it more of a functional public space. Here, usually a welcome barbecue would take place for students. But unfortunately, because of the pandemic, it won't happen this year. But during the fall and the summer, there's lots of, lots of festivals that take place here. There's food, there's music, there's lots of people. Things are a little bit quieter this year, but hey, you can still do picnics here during summer. And during the winter, they usually put an ice ring right there. So you will see students skating, falling, laughing with each other and trying all over again. Right now, we're on the Padway, a short pedestrian walking beach that takes you straight from downtown to the trails. It's right above the highway, as you can hear lots of cars passing by. Besides, last year, a Olastoke artist painted a mural just beside the padway. And also, throughout the year, there's going to be lots of indigenous painting being included throughout the town. Behind us, there are the Carleton Street Pillars, which are the remains of the Carleton Street Bridge. It used to be the city's main form of transportation until the 1980s, when the bridge became so small that they had to dismantle it and build a Westmoreland Bridge instead. From here, you can also get a better sense of the north side, the St. Mary's supermarket, the residential buildings, and Woolly O'Ree Place, which has a hockey ring in it. Near the Petway, there's also a skate park under construction. And at a walking distance, the Fredericton Public Library is located as well. To my left, there is Fredericton Lighthouse, from where you can get a beautiful view of the north side, the walking bridge, and the river itself. Besides, the best part about Fredericton downtown is that everything is at a walking distance. Now we're off the Petway and onto Carleton Street, which just got redone into a shared street. This means that both pedestrians can walk here freely and cars can drive by slowly. This is where the famous Garrison Night Market takes place every Thursday during summer. There's lots of music, food, vendors, and fun. Definitely one of my favorite spots to hang out at during the summer. Hopefully we'll get to enjoy it next summer. Right on Carleton Street is the campus for the New Brunswick College of Craft and Design. This important art school is in old heritage buildings that were used as a liquor warehouse and as housing for the Grayson soldiers back in the day. If you take a ride at Carleton, you will find yourself in Queen Street, which is where in September, there's a famous festival called Harvest Jazz and Blues takes place. The street gets closed, it becomes a very festive atmosphere here. There are always festivals like this one going on all year round in Fredericton. We have arrived at Phoenix Square which was named after the mythical bird that rose back from the ashes because of the multiple times these buildings have been rebuilt because of fire. There's just something about this place. Don't you love the small tables out here? It's just the perfect spot to hang out and eat. You're right, Sohan. I've actually come here with my friends quite often to eat and enjoy the downtown scenery. And actually, here is City Hall. And this is the fourth City Hall building because the three previous ones were burnt down because of fire. And this city hall used to have a farmer's market, a police station with a jail inside, and a small theater opera. Fun fact about her, Oscar Wilde performed in here. That's pretty cool. And also, the municipal government works from here. The city council and all its 12 city councillors meet here, including the mayor and all the elected representatives. 
And another cool thing about this place is that the Fredericton Tourism Information Center is just right by the stairs. And look who's coming down, it's Mayor Mike. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? What's up? If you could give one encouraging message to all incoming students, whether they can't physically come here or whether they can, what would you tell them? We need new people, new immigrants. We need students to be here and want to stay here to help us. My goal is to be one of the most modern little cities in North America. Mm -hmm. And we can do that, but we only do that with uh, new ideas and fresh, fresh faces and ideas to help us you know, bring your language, your culture, your passion, your experience, your knowledge, mm -hmm. and shape us into uh, being the city that we really can be. We're, we'll always be a small city, right? We're prosperous and we're growing, and we're a modern, becoming modern, but we'll still be a small city. You can reach out and touch people, you can bump into the mayor, you can come to my office anytime. Uh, at the campus, it's a close-knit community, it's a caring community here, there's lots of opportunities for students to, uh, and we want you to stay here. If anything we can do to keep students here, we want, because not only we want your, as I say, your talent, your passion, but uh, we need people to, uh, to connect with our, uh, our non-profits and bring, the, uh, bring that experience here because there's lots of opportunities here for students to get involved, engaged, and really make a difference. I'm really glad to meet you. All the best with your video series, and uh, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mayor Mike. And that marks the end of our second video. Don't you think so, honey? It was really fun showing everyone around downtown. Absolutely, I totally agree to that. For our next one, we'll show you all the sweet hanging out spots in Fredericton. Make sure you tune in. Till then, see, see you in the, the next, next time. one. Ready? Ah, wait, first line. This is the main public place in Ferguson, Officer Square. Garrison's live military exercises, tennis courts. This may take us a couple shots, but there we go. It's fine, we'll do it. We'll do it. Mural painted by an elastic artist last year beside the walking bridge, beside the padway. <laughs> we'll show you all the sweet hanging spots in Fredericton. Make sure to tune in. See you in the next one.